Carol and Steve Chandler Long Beauchene was out here skateboarding when he was hit. He had critical injuries, massive head trauma. But now he's back home after five and a half weeks in the hospital. I feel very lucky to be alive. It's been a painful recovery process for Chandler. He had a lot of broken bones and a shattered jaw. His scars still healing. My right side is paralyzed. Miraculously, he does not have permanent brain damage. Slowly, he's getting stronger, already trying to skateboard again. It's something his mom worried she'd never see. She and Chandler's little brother did not leave his side at the hospital. It was horrible. No parent should have to go through that ever. You know, for the first three days, they couldn't tell us whether he was going to make it or not. I don't know. I don't know what I would do without him. I don't. To think that he would die? No way. No. I'm not here to bury my children. My children are here to bury me. One of the hardest parts was knowing that the driver who hit her son just took off. The fact that they didn't even slow down. They didn't stop. They didn't slow down. They just left. This surveillance video is the only evidence police have. The driver is still out there as Chandler fights to get his life back. Just to not check on me at all and not stop, just keep going, go faster, that's messed up. Chandler and his family are now trying to find that driver and get justice. There will be an event tomorrow in Chandler's honor and to help raise award money for anyone with information on the driver. It will be from 12 to 6 tomorrow at Sky High Skate Shop in Bayview. They're looking for anyone with information. Reporting live, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. Hopefully they will find that person. Thank you, Katie. No